guys play AAU together, both from PG County. Yeah, man, it's crazy. What do you guys think about when you think about where you guys came from to where you are now? Honestly, it was fun. Man, we had a good time as like, kids, man. Yeah, I tell people all the time, like, man, when you're a kid, you don't know you in the hood, or yeah. you don't know you poor, or you don't know, you know, yeah. you just, just accept the new environment when you're a child, and that's when your friends are really your friends wholeheartedly and nothing mm -hmm. malicious, and it's always, you know, maybe you stole somebody's girlfriend or they returned yeah. somebody's pen. KD was my real, like, he was my first real friend, like, like sleepovers, like, he was the first time I ever brought my Xbox out the house. <laughs> 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 no, that's no, yeah, that's no, 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 You don't bring the Xbox. Bro. You don't bring the Xbox. Man, left it over there, like, oh, I'll be over here tomorrow yeah, morning. Like, I might as well. Yeah, it was territories out there where we come from. So, we hoop, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you a hooper, you feel like you get passes everywhere. No doubt. So, we so, hoop, man. So, yeah, right. right. <laughs> so we, we we hoop everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And we ain't cared. Like that's when I started realizing what friends was about. Cause like I said, I was always in the gym, either by myself or with Mike or my team. So it was like I ain't really had no no real friends either. We moved to different apartments. We moved. We lived in every part of PG County. So it was like we ain't really had no stable friends or stable household. You know what I'm saying? Mom was at work. I was over there. We were just hooping. Where are you guys at with basketball wasn't in you guys' life? Where, where are we at? Right now, I'm probably living with my mom. Yeah. Like, at, we're working at the, at the rec center. You are not living with your mom at 30 years old. I swear. Like, bro, like, like, not to say that we're not good at anything else, but, like, at that point, me and like, what are we good at? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. we can put a ball in the basket and... Do that really good. Both went to the Big 12. Yeah, yeah. Both freshman conference player of the years. Both the number two picks. Yeah. Since then, the, the NBA paths have gone different. Then it seemed like this narrative has circled around you as far as what, who is Mike Beasley? What is he about? Is he dedicated to the game? How are you dealing and, fo and focusing on that? At first, I, at first I handled it like, any, like anybody would handle it. Down on myself, to, you know, just the wrong way, like kind of feeling sorry for myself. Like, but then it's just like you gotta look yourself in the mirror. And you can't be honest with yourself, and you can't be honest with anybody, you know. So once I was able to be honest with myself, you can start to weed out what's true and what's not true. Yeah. Mike, he had to go through this. You know what I'm saying? He had to realize, like, damn, it could be. Like, this could be taken away from me if I don't lock in. Like I tell a lot of people, I was fortunate enough to go into a situation where I didn't have to play behind D-Wade or I didn't have to live in Miami or as a 19-year-old. Or if I did, yeah. it, it might be a different story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it might have been a different story. And my mom's was on me from day one. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is tater tots. Man. A tater tot? Bro, all y'all is big here. Man. Yo, I appreciate this. It's on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got <laughs> a little quiet there, right? Yeah, no. Got a little quiet there. The scrutiny, or if you want to call it scrutiny, didn't come to him until he joined the Warriors. Which, yeah, what, by the way, yeah. What 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 what, what, what was your I, thoughts? So when I we played in Milwaukee last year, uh -huh. I'm coming out the hallway. The first thing you do is give me a big hug. It's like, man, I'm proud of you. I wouldn't have made that decision a few years back. Like I'd have been worried about everybody, like trying to make everybody else trying happy. to make everybody else happy. And he gave me a big hug, and that made me feel good because it's like, man, like he know me to the core. Yeah. I always go back to those teams, man, when we was young, like. Yeah. That was the best time of my life. Like I had, it was carefree. It was you didn't have to worry about nothing but just playing. I had we had good people around us. You know what I'm saying? It's like you in search for that, and it's hard to do that in the real world because obviously we got more responsibilities as we get older. And I want that kid like feeling again for the game. Appreciate y'all for doing this. Man, man. Hey, some more shrimp before we get out of here. Love, I no, appreciate I, I, that. This is this is real cool. 
it's all on KD, so go ahead. <laughs> I, I take it, take even it. though I'm in his town, oh, but it's all, all right. good. Oh, nothing, no, hey, bring some more shit about that. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>